Fifth graders, today we're doing module four, lesson eight. And today we're going to really prove to ourselves that finding a fraction of a whole number or a fraction of the set, we're going to prove to ourselves that that's related to fraction multiplication. Okay, we're going to solve it in two different ways so that we can prove to ourselves. Yesterday I taught you that the word of, fraction of a set, means the fraction times the set. But I just told you that. Why should you believe me? Today I'm going to prove to you why you should believe me. Okay? Yesterday I taught you that if we have something like two-thirds times six, that multiplication sign times is the same as two-thirds of six, right? Because I taught you that the multiplication sign just means of. So therefore, two-thirds times six should equal two-thirds of six. Let's prove it to ourselves. In red, I've solved it as if it was two-thirds of six, right? Because altogether, and you should draw this in your notebook, we have six and we want to find two-thirds of it. So let's complete this. How many units are there altogether? Three. Three units equals six. So therefore, one unit equals two. two. And we're trying to find two units, right? Because two thirds. So two units equals four. four. So what's two thirds of six? Four. Because this one is worth two, this one's worth two, and this one's worth two. You see how each section was worth two, the whole thing would be worth six, and two of them is worth four. So therefore, two-thirds of six is four. Great. Now, <clears throat> let's think of it another way. Two-thirds times six. Okay. If I have two-thirds times six, that's the same as two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds. How many times did I say two-thirds? Because multiplication, I'm making six copies of two-thirds. Do you agree? And we know that that's going to be, what's two-thirds plus two-thirds? Four-thirds. Four plus two-thirds? Six-thirds. Basically, I'm doing two times two times two times, or two plus two plus two plus two all over three. Do you guys agree? So therefore, two-thirds times six is the same as, in the numerator, two times six all over three. Talk to your neighbor about why that's true. Two-thirds times six is six copies of two-thirds. So this would equal two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds. Do you guys agree? When I do that, I'm basically doing... Do I ever change the units? No. It's going to be some thirds, right? How many thirds am I going to have? Six. Twelve. Because it's 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, or 2 times 6. So that's why this is equal to 2 times 6 all over 3. Do you guys see that? Okay. So what is 2 times 6? 12. 12. Over 3. 12 thirds. What is that equal to? 4. 12 thirds is 4 because 3 thirds is 1. So you can see that when we multiply 2 thirds times 6, we get 4, which is the same answer as when we were finding two thirds of six, we got four. Hmm. We're on the track to we're on the right track to proving that finding a fraction of a set is the same as multiplying the fraction times the set.